Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. The original system for electing presidents provided that the candidate receiving a majority of electoral college votes would become president, while the runner-up would become vice president. The Senate must choose between the two top electoral vote recipients, with at least two-thirds of the Senate's members voting. Make your mark! Take our lead! After Congress counts the votes, the candidate with a clear majority, 270 out of 538, is elected. If no one gets a majority, the election goes to Congress to resolve. But the House has elected the President only twice, in 1801 and 1825, and the Senate has chosen the Vice President only once, in 1837. Make your mark, take our lead. The president and vice president must achieve a majority of electoral votes, 270, to be elected. In the absence of a majority, the House selects the president, and the Senate selects the vice president. Take our lead. If no candidate receives the majority of electoral votes, the vote goes to the House of Representatives. House members choose the new president from among the top three candidates. The Senate elects the vice president from the remaining top two candidates. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.